this particular content, uh, especially in the view of uh, competitive exams like gate and engineering services. Whereas, uh, in this particular uh, preparation strategy session, uh, for about uh, 45 to 50 minutes, we are going to spend time. So be with me so that uh, here what we are going to do is, uh, I'll give two different uh, strategies. For one is uh, gate 2023, for, which is about uh, five months away. And even for the 2024, few aspirants are there, those who are also watching this particular live session. So one is a short-term strategy, one is long-term strategy. Or in other terms, you can say, there are some students who are uh, completed their graduation, but uh, they're given a one-year dedicated preparation. Right? We call them as a pass-out uh, candidates. And uh, there are some students who are now in third year and second year engineering, uh, and they are preparing uh, for the gate 2024. Whereas, uh, if you notice, uh, this particular production uh, in a mechanical engineering curriculum, when you observe gate mechanical, initially I'll talk about mechanical, later I'll mention what actually a production industrial paper. If you notice highest weightage topics, uh, in that, uh, Either you take technical or non-technical, always uh, first will be production. On an average, uh, we are able to notice, uh, if you observe here, achha, I'll come to this slide later. If you observe here, average subject-wise uh, marks uh, uh, for gate mechanical paper from 2010 to 2022, if I take an average, uh, then uh, it is, uh, if you observe here in production, uh, around 14 to 16 marks. So it's a uh, data directly from the gate papers, uh, marks wise uh, we collected and uh, made as a range uh, what we are getting. Uh. Whereas uh, in this production engineering, uh, we have uh, various topics basically. There are a number of topics we have. And even before this uh, production topics, uh, we used to have one more subject, we call it as the material science. Engineering. That is also one of the part of the production. But my colleague already made one separate uh, strategy session uh, for the material science uh, topic. Uh, later after, after this particular video, you can go in a uh, Ace Academy YouTube channel and you can uh, watch in the already videos, uh, preparation strategy for material science. So if I put material science aside, uh, after material science, we have the metal casting. Then we have uh, metal welding. So basically, I'm dividing all the subtopics uh, or you can say these are subjects basically which are compiled together kept as the production uh, in our syllabus right manufacturing engineering or production uh, contain casting welding then metal cutting principles of metal cutting uh, and also we have the machine tools uh, or we can call it as the machining uh. but initially we should have a clarity my intention here uh, uh, in this particular uh, session uh, to make sure that uh, effectively you need to know what actually the boundary of the uh, syllabus uh, and how to work over that particular syllabus uh, to get a maximum number of marks or uh, to get very good rank. Uh. Whereas along these uh, four topics, uh, next is uh, we have metal forming and sheet metal operations. And after that, uh, we have the metrology, engineering metrology. And also we have uh, advanced machining methods, uh, non-traditional mach advanced machining methods. In this, uh, we majorly focus on uh, NCCNC programming and non-traditional machining methods. Uh. And along with this, uh, especially in a gate, we have uh, jigs and fixtures. Again, fixtures. Sir, out of uh, all the different subjects of the mechanical syllabus, if you notice, uh, much variety is there in this particular production. And uh, due to highest weightage, uh, obviously, every aspirant need to make a concern here that uh, without this particular subject, uh, 
getting good rank, uh, forget about good rank, sometimes getting qualification is also difficult. And uh, if you observe rankers uh, in the history till this particular gate, 2022 paper, uh, every ranker will say one thing that uh, it is one such a big important subject uh, and big misconception students used to have that uh, it's a theory oriented before preparing for the gate. Uh. But when it comes to the gate, more than 90 percent numerical as equal to the thermal and design related subjects. Uh. That clarity first of all everyone should have. See these things uh, I am mentioning especially to that person who is uh, recently uh, started aspiring for the gate exam. And those who are already aware about the subject of dropout uh, drop students, uh, those who are spending their one year uh, uh, aspiring this particular exam, see they already know about this uh, uh, curriculum and they know what actually the boundary and for them uh, I need to give a crisp strategy for about uh, coming four months. Uh, right? This September started, September, October, November, December. For these four months I uh, will give a strategy. Whereas, uh, in the fifth month, that is a January, purely you should put that entire month for the revision and the attempting the number of test series. Whereas, uh, such a big subject, uh, we group of colleague faculties together always uh, used to deliver the content. Whereas, uh, if you notice in this session, I am exclusively going to talk about uh, metal cutting machining, metrology and uh, jigs and fish. Compiled together, these topics uh, are 50 percent uh, of the production, especially when you notice uh, from the metal casting onwards, uh, 50 percent of the production is uh, metal cutting, machining, metrology and jigs and fixtures together. On an average, as you notice, uh, just now here, uh, 14 to 16 marks, uh, then shall I say 7 to 8 marks you are going to get uh, from these topics. So for this 7 to 8 marks uh, initially I will give uh, one brief idea how you should prepare whereas uh, for the remaining topics uh, again one more session we are going to make. Uh. So we divided uh, even preparation strategy also uh, number of videos. Uh. Now when it comes to this uh, production basically as we know that uh, it is one such a big subject uh, which indirectly implies even uh, to this word uh, you can say a synonym of a uh, a production is this word. It is not only make in India, made in anywhere in the world. The word make is a synonym of our subject called production. And this is one, one of the biggest motivation we should have first of all before the examination to learn this subject. And I used to say commonly in my classes, those who attended recently offline classes and live online classes in ACE Academy and even recorded ACE online sessions that subscription based app which we have. In all these, uh, you might have noticed in every session, uh, I used to start with this particular slogan. Because it is one such a big motivation for us, uh, apart for the, from the exam, that uh, any single topic of the production, uh, starting from the casting up to the jigs and fixtures. Uh, if you notice especially manufacturing methods, uh, when you notice uh, uh, any single uh, area of the making single elemental component related uh, manufacturing or production technology, it is sufficient to become even entrepreneur. Whereas, even if you go for the masters, uh, they are also promoting you for developing a different products or innovating uh, uh, new, new objects, new products uh, or existing mechanism, existing products might be there, upgrading those uh, by overcoming all the difficulties still know whatever we are facing. Uh, in that aspect, uh, every organization, especially all the IITs and NITs, uh, wherever masters uh, students are enrolled recently, they are telling that only. Whereas, uh, this 7 to 8 marks, uh, especially when you notice metal cutting, machining, uh, metrology and jigs and fixtures, uh, these are the major part of the syllabus. Whereas, when it comes to the gate uh, PI paper, any students uh, after starting this uh, gate uh, registration started asking that, uh, sir, as a second paper, which paper is best? In my opinion, I will say always a PI. Why? Because uh, you have uh, two options along the gate mechanical, right? Gate mechanical is anyway first choice. Uh, after this, uh, you have the two options. Uh, in that, uh, I will prefer the second option as a gate PI. Whereas in a gate XC paper, engineering sciences, uh, production engineering is of no use, uh, especially if you talk about all these uh, manufacturing methods. Uh. Huh. If you are interested, you can take material science also as one subject. Uh, 
that is uh, one part of the XE. But uh, my discussion is of no use, those who are aspiring only XE. But uh, I hope here uh, in this particular live session, uh, try to respond in a comment uh, uh, live chat, sir, so that uh, uh, I can uh, feel that uh, uh, we are connected and we are uh, discussing uh, one after other, right? Right. Now everything is right, now? Clear? So, when you notice a uh, gate PI paper, uh, along those general engineering uh, that, uh, all thermal design related subjects, uh, we have manufacturing uh, processes uh, which are divided into a 1 and a 2. Manufacturing processes, two. I have a syllabus also, we look after that. Whereas, this is what the total weightage, if you notice, the past four years of the mechanical papers, especially. Right? And observe, on an average, this year, five marks of one mark, five questions of one mark, five questions of two mark, together it's 15 marks in the set two, whereas eight plus three, 11 marks on the set one. When it comes to 2021, 12 plus 6, 4, 16 marks here and 16 marks here. Like this, out of a total 70 marks of the core technical, highest weightage always will be the production. Whereas even if you notice engineering services in prelims, after getting new updated syllabus, little bit of theory of prelims related questions are reduced. But uh, always in the mains, uh, highest weightage. Uh, here, this year it was a uh, 60 plus marks we got uh, in the mains. Uh, right? Rank decider even in uh, engineering services. Whereas in the syllabus, if you notice closely uh, regarding metal cutting, machining, and the metrology, that part of the syllabus I uh, made a screenshot and I am showing here directly. In that, uh, these are the topics which we have. Right? I'll come to this slide later. Whereas. Uh, in the PI paper, we have the manufacturing processes 1 and processes 2, as I said, whereas in manufacturing processes 2, most of the metal cutting related topics we have. And even uh, along that, uh, we have the quality and uh, reliability in that, uh, metrology and inspection related, these topics we have. Whereas in PI paper, uh, combined together these two sections, uh, section uh, 4, this part, in section 5, only metrology part. Uh, after this, we have uh, extra subjects also. But combined together, these parts, if you notice, uh, you are going to get uh, 10 marks uh, minimum. Out of uh, 100, uh, actually out of 70 only, I can say, 10 marks minimum, that too, if you go for the maximum, it will be even 15 marks. Uh. So you can say 10 to 15 is uh, one of the highest uh, weightage. Only these topics together. Now, if you notice, uh, as I said uh, here, and also quality, we have the metrology. So this idea most of you all are, you are already having, in, that is what my opinion. But uh, as I said, the new students, uh, for them, uh, initially my focus is here is, if you try to refer in a strategy of, uh, especially, first of all, I'll give a long-term strategy. If you try to prepare uh, entire production syllabus uh, from the standard test books, uh, it will be better actually. There are many standard test books we have. I'll give refer that also. And those who are aspiring for the gate 2024, for them, a reading test book is one of the best option. Always, as a teacher, we should believe that standard test books are those which will give continuous content to us, where our, once we have the conceptual fundamentals are clear, then only we able to tackle the questions, especially in these competitive exams are concerned. Whereas, uh, those who are already have idea about the entire boundary of the subject, uh, for them, uh, the initial strategy is, uh, you know what actually the content is. And uh, those who attended classrooms, either live online or offline, or even uh, uh, ACE online uh, app-based preparation, those who are making, uh, for all them, uh, 
we hope already in the beginning itself we used to say in every class uh, that prepare your own notes. So in the strategy of uh, any exam preparation, not only for the gate mechanical or gate PI papers, uh, you go for the even engineering services or any other exam. Uh, so first requirement is uh, your own uh, handwritten classroom notes. I hope that uh, this particular notes uh, already you might have prepared. And those who are not yet started, uh, and for them these subjects are about to be covered. Remember, when you are attending classes, uh, you try to cover this particular entire content uh, very crystal clearly and prepare your own notes. Once the classroom notes is ready, in that notes what happens is, uh, along the content, along the fundamentals, uh, I used to deliver uh, my subjects and then uh, I used to cover all important aspects of the previous year numericals. Uh, and uh, every model of the numerical, what kind of questions in the examinations uh, we observed uh, based on our experience, we try to frame all those things. And after these classroom notes, uh, we always prefer to have uh, previous year questions uh, with you. Previous year questions uh, of both GATE and uh, ESC. For both these exams are previous year questions. And after this, ACE Academy provide you ACE volume 2 and bits and bytes. Here you will get a lot much practice. Volume 2 is one such a booklet we provide here. In that, you will be having a number of questions and solutions along the explanations. And after this, the most important where students neglect, uh, that is the online test series. Uh. So in this uh, coming uh, another 30-40 minutes, uh, I'm going to put an eye over this particular area. Uh. Where first I'll talk about gate 2023, which is about uh, five months. So in the coming four months, what you need to do is, uh, If already this much part is covered, already you attended the no, uh, classes, uh, then this notes is with you, then start revising this entire notes uh, along the revision, try to start attempting the papers. As many questions as you do, that much confidence you will boost. And after that, uh, if time available, then still start practicing this, then uh, Try to go to the online test series uh, where you will be having a subject wise test, uh, then after that multiple subject test, uh, then grand test. So here we always make a mistake. Uh, when you try to attempt this particular paper, uh, you will get to know that uh, what kind of mistakes we are going to make in the exams. Uh, and try to note down each and every mistake. In exams, what mistakes you are making, what kind of issues you are facing, every issue, either it's a subject related or a time management related or a using calculator or a especially taking data, this kind of many mistakes you, you used to commit. Whereas in that test, after completion, try to analyze. Don't look at the rank, what you are getting, uh, because among the number of aspirants, there are few who already prepared previously, again, they might be writing. So instead of looking at the rank, uh, once you attempted that particular online test series, uh, then after attempting that, uh, analyze yourself where you made mistakes, uh, out of how many questions, uh, how many you attempted, uh, and those mistakes, how I need to overcome. And uh, if you overcome number of mistakes uh, together, one after other, one after other, when you reach to the grand tests, then the day will come on that day, the examination is also similar to the practice test. Whereas in this four months, the best strategy is every day, two hours minimum you need to spend for the production. I used to say this one, this particular statement, from the day one when I started teaching because of knowing the importance of the production. And uh, it is not only my words, uh, I talk uh, almost with every ranker who are part of my classroom coaching or either online live classes. Uh, 
either this year or last year, either gate or engineering services. Uh, out of this, uh, I can tell which each with many candidates, uh, I can recognize and I will talk about, I can talk about what I discuss with them. But uh, I remember one thing common, uh, every gate ranker or engineering service ranker, uh, one commonly they used to say that, uh, sir, your classes will help us uh, to acquire the knowledge regarding that entire subject and we get to know what actually the boundary of the subject, especially in the view of gate or engineering service examination. But uh, that classes when it comes to the examination uh, will be useful only 40%. Then what about the remaining 60%? The remaining 60% is uh, your practice uh, of entire that particular practice means here revision of that entire classes uh, that boost you to another 30%. Then what about remaining 30? Then that will be your online test series. So the one common among all the previous rankers is, they will say, to reach maximum, it is online test series. That helps a lot. That will be a remaining 30% to have as maximum number of marks. Even this is what the common strategy first ranker also told. Even the good ranker who secure a very good PSU or joined in masters either in IITs or IISCR, somewhere at least in NITs. So all, even I can say qualified candidate. So difference between qualified and the first ranker is, first ranker will do all these with a dedication, whereas just a qualified candidate just focus on the classroom notes and they try to develop the content. Yes, content is useful, but that content you should practice very well. And that practice, practice means number of revisions you should make. Whereas when it comes to the production, as I said, Every day two hours you need to spend, not only production, along the production, even mathematics also every day you need to spend two hours. Because these two such a big areas, they both combine together cover more than 30 percent of the entire marks. 30 marks around will be there in a gate especially from the mass and production only. Or you can divide in the coming four months, initially for about two months, you should focus on the big subjects where weightage is very high can take a screenshot of this and accordingly you can make a list where you need to focus more. And if you ask me, my opinion is along the production, as I said, mathematics and then some fluid mechanics. These are first category and also you can go for the dharma. The first category of five big subjects where huge weightage will be there. So for these subjects, uh, you need to go for, go for the cyclic way of preparation. Whereas, uh, as I said, uh, every day two hours, uh, in that two hours, uh, all those subjects will be there. Now actually what to be done in these two hours, uh, especially when it comes to my area, as I am going to talk about uh, metal cutting, machining and uh, metrology. See, these particular topics, uh, which are the part of entire production syllabus, uh, having one clarity that uh, defined boundary and within that every time, every year we are noticing the questions. When it comes to the metal cutting and machining, uh, in metal cutting, uh, we used to have all the basic principles. And if you ask me, sir, I don't want to prepare 100% metal cutting, uh, tell me, very major areas, but by covering that, I need to get 70-80 percent marks. Means, suppose if you are getting from this particular material cutting two questions, at least one question you should be able to attempt. But two to three questions are there within a metal cutting and machining together. But as far as remaining subjects when you compare, this particular area is one of the easiest. Because once you have the known boundary, once you understood the content, then direct questions will be there where Formula, if you are able to recollect, easily you are able to attempt those things. Right? Very good evening, everyone. Huh. One interesting question these days continuously I am noticing, gate PI paper advantage is what, sir? Why you recommend gate PI rather than gate XC paper? I used to say, 
chances of getting PSUs are little bit more along the gate mechanical if you go for the PI. That is what my basic motto. Especially ONGC and IOCL are focusing even gate PI aspirant also. But you should be in a top. Along these basic subjects, we used to have some advanced subjects also, especially in a production industry. But these two are common subjects, either it may be a gate mechanical or gate PI. Whereas in metal cutting, where you need to focus means, first of all, you need to know the tool geometry. Reason of understanding tool geometry, two systems we have, ASA and ORSA, is to know what actually the orthogonal machining is. For that purpose, you need to understand, first of all, tool geometry. So once you understood this particular orthogonal machining, then analysis of orthogonal machining is what? The basic area from there we are going to get the question. When I say analysis of orthogonal machining, it is about uh, merchant's uh, analysis. Merchant four circle diagram. To develop that merchant four circle diagram, various basic uh, we used to cover. And all those basics, if you understood, uh, in the merchant force diagram, once you got the forces, uh, in the principles of cutting operation with the help of a tool, uh, by using that force and velocity, we used to calculate the power. So this is what such an area where majorly we used to get a two mark uh, question. So just to focus in this merchant analysis, uh, we will get two marks. One question if they are asking directly. And after this merchant analysis, uh, we go towards the analysis of the tool life. Uh. We start with our temperature measurement and we reach up to the economics of machining. Uh, but out of that, all the discussion most important is the tool life related. So analysis of tool life means behind this uh, various topics we have like temperature measurement and tool gear. So tool life is always one or two mark area. Sometimes they used to ask one mark uh, or even directly two mark. And if you notice last five years, uh, every year there was a question from this tool life. Even you ask uh, regarding this particular metal cutting even to the uh, thermal and design related faculty also, they will tell that uh, tool life is one such area where question is obvious. This much frequency of the question, uh, no other subject uh, is having. Single topic, uh, but easy also, where frequency of the question is very high. So if you focus within this particular area, 70 to 80 percent of your chances of getting a correct answer for the getting questions in the examination is very easy. Whereas, uh, as I said, uh, Two hours uh, every day what we need to spend means, uh, you take any one of the topic, uh, either it may be a casting, welding, cutting, machining, all these together. Anyway, for the remaining topics, again we used to have one more session. When it comes to this particular metal cutting and machining, those who attended classes, they know actually the boundary and uh, within that boundary try to make your own formula book. I never recommend a short notes especially for the gate production subject is concerned. Reason is simple, it is one such a big area, along the numerical we are getting theory questions also. Weightage of theory is less, but from anywhere they may ask. That's why every day in the two hours try to cover that particular area, try to get familiarized with that your notes. So every day when you are covering the notes, you get to know what actually the content is. Within that content, you are going to work, keeps on practicing every day those content. Whereas in a engineering service examination, they mention just the name of the subject. Everything need to be covered here. Limit fit tolerance, metrology and inspection. And along that, they mentioned machining and machine tool operations. So just to mention the subject name. So whatever we are going to discuss in a gate that is almost same even for the engineering service examination for the metal cutting and metrology is concerned. Whereas a Jigson fixtures topic which I mentioned here, gate mechanical syllabus which is there even in a gate PI paper, 
but uh, Jigson fixtures topic is not in a engineering scientific examination. So this kind of clarity actually you need to develop. Uh, that is what the basic strategy is. So in the strategy, these are the points which are very, very important where once you have this much content, uh, then make a cyclic revision. So in that cyclic revision, uh, you're going to spend every day two hours. Once the subject is over, take subject-wise test. You have the subject-wise test. And make a calendar of that subject-wise test and attempt this test. Here you will make some mistakes. That mistakes you try to write down and try to overcome those mistakes in the multiple subject, multi-subject tests. And here also you will commit some mistakes because number of subjects when increase, it is not the same subject in which we are going to be Whereas uh, you need to switch from one subject to another subject, one area to other area, like thermal to design, design to production, like this, uh, you may need to switch sometime. So that practice, if you make, uh, then by the time when you reach to the grand test, uh, even you are going to make com big mistakes. Uh. As I said already, try to note down all those mistakes uh, when, I'm, when you are going to attempt uh, online test series exams and try to overcome those mistakes. Uh, and that is what the basic strategy is. And for the short term, this strategy, why I am saying is because already you might be having, a, you might be aware about these things. Sir. And those who are about to attend, uh, try to work uh, more than 12 to 14 hours uh, and try to first of all develop uh, at least classroom notes uh, along the notes. Uh, if, if you leave uh, bits and bytes, uh, not an issue, but previous questions and then go for the online test. Sir, online test series is only the weapon in your hand to get a practice with the examination so that you are able to tackle the exam. Without online test series, it is way difficult. Remember these words. Whereas, those who are aspiring for the long term, as I said, 2024 aspirants, those who are in a third year or second year, or those who are in a final year, they are ready to take one more chance later also. For them, you need to go for the standard test books. As I said, after attending classes, see, my task is, especially when it, when it comes to my area, I used to go with a number of test books. Already these test books, here only metal cutting related test books I kept. Whereas, for the metrology, There is one fine test book we have that is IC Gupta. Engineering Metrology by IC Gupta. This single test book is sufficient for every exam is concerned. Either it's a gate or engineering services. I will not recommend to read all these test books basically. Why I kept here is cumulatively from these number of test books only, I am delivering the content in my classes. So those who attended already, they know in that classroom notes, whatever content is there, that content Already we covered, that's why we focus, We ask you to focus only on the classroom notes. But for the long term people, those who are aspiring for 2024, after every class, try to take a test book of that particular subject, standard test book. Every faculty will tell. Like in, when it comes to the my areas, I kept here all test books in this slide, but having first of all this single test book, Amitabh Ghosh and Ashok Kumar Malika is one of the good quality test book where you can find everything relevant to the exam point of view. Whereas if you want to learn even much more content, theory oriented content, even one more good test book is the Kalpak J. Whereas these things you can keep as a reference for the numerical solving. Right? Try to go with these two test books only for the numerical point of view. Whereas you should have a prepare for from these two. Whereas even good quality authors uh, for the metal cutting is Bhattacharya and uh, M.C. Shaw. So after every class, uh, you should have uh, a textbook and from that content, uh, try to correlate the things uh, and try to develop your content again. Uh, but at the end, uh, either it's a textbook or my notes, uh, at the end you need to write your own uh, handwritten classroom notes. You should develop this particular note. So once you develop this, uh, then again the same cycle it is. Uh, but uh, don't think that you have a very long time. It is also very short. Uh, because people who are aspiring for the gate 2024, 2023 know that uh, time is very less. Uh, right? It is not sufficient. Uh, 
people even used to comment like, sir, what do you want to tell us? Right? You used to say that this much will be there, this should be done. And reality is, I am telling from my heart, that is only every aspirant does. And you people who are now watching this or even later, those who are going to watch this video, are similar as the rankers what I shown. They are not separator. And they done only this thing, that's why they are there. And for you also it is possible. Only thing is, uh, you need to focus on that particular strategies. Every people are, see, some people are having already some strategies. Uh, and those who got some corrections in that, uh, try to correct it uh, and don't try to watch number of uh, videos on the strategies. Uh, try to stick to one strategy and uh, try to commit there uh, and try to practice. Uh, from your mistakes only you are able to overcome. Uh, and uh, mark every mistake how you are going to overcome. Uh, and then while writing examination, you only get to know grand tests when you are writing, uh, you get to know that uh, what actually should be done when it comes to the examination. That idea you will develop uh, by the time when you reach to the grand tests. But to reach to the grand test, uh, for every subject also, this is only the strategy. As I talk about metal cutting now, where I mentioned uh, orthogonal machining is the basic reason, where we used to focus, uh, for that reason, we used to focus on the tool geometry. Tool geometry, big discussion, always we used to make. The reason is, first of all, you need to understand the concept of uh, metal cutting. For that, uh, ASA tool geometry, ORS tool geometry we make, uh, whereas after ORS tool geometry, we went inside the tool material and we show you orthogonal plane. From that plane only, we talk about the orthogonal machining. But once the orthogonal machining starts, uh, then things become much easy because we used to draw simply wedge shape of the tool and the workpiece material. So this diagram, how we are going to develop, uh, that clarity once you get, uh, then remaining entire subject is much easier. Then we talk about chip thickness ratio T1 and T2. And for that chip thickness ratio, we develop an equation for the shear angle. The shear direction in which machining takes place. Means metal separation will happen. That is R cos alpha by 1 minus R sin alpha. From here, analysis begins. And it went up to the minimum power calculation of 2 phi plus beta minus alpha is equal to pi by 2. So from this first equation up to this equation, whatever number of equations are there, all those equations we discuss only on this single orthogonal plane by using this wedge shape of the tool on the workspace. So for developing this content, we talk about initially tool geometry, but major important is always orthogonal machining. And that orthogonal machining understanding once happened, then analysis based discussion, we, whatever we done, all the formulas, whatever we develop, try to focus there, that is what the major area. And along these two, the next is uh, economics of machining. Here, if question comes, uh, those who mug up just formula for them, it is very difficult. That's the reason why basically there are three criteria we have. For all those three criteria in my classes, I used to give equations, uh, derivation I used to make. So you should have an idea, first of all, even for the gate exam point of view, I'm telling, sir. You should have an idea how those particular three criteria are developed. Minimum total cost criteria, maximum production rate criteria, and maximum profit rate criteria. For those criteria, sir, the equations how we develop once you have the clarity, then uh, tackling the questions uh, when it comes from the economics of machining is very easy. I remember recently there was one two mark question in 2018 paper. Uh, even uh, I asked to the good rankers, uh, they said we left this question. And whereas top rankers uh, made it. Uh, for them, uh, those two marks big, add a big advantage to them. The reason from this, those two is, those who left this particular area for them, uh, just remembering formula will not be helpful. Uh, that's why, even for the long-term students, as I said, uh, you should aware about the entire derivational part and you should develop your own notes. Uh. Whereas, uh, even for the gate 2023 aspirants, uh, these are the major areas you should focus on the metal cutting. Whereas, when it comes to the machining, uh, in machining, uh, to prepare you even for the interviews, uh, we try to cover from the single point cutting tool uh, up to the multi point cutting tool every other type of conventional machining. But when it comes to the gate examination point of view, reality is uh, try to focus only on the machining time calculations. Uh, Machining time calculations, especially on 
drilling then milling and sometimes uh, even shaping especially for the PA paper shaping planing and also little bit uh, grinding designation related and a uh, total power calculation. So this is what actual syllabus for the gate examination. So if you remember this many things uh, those who already attended for them uh, I think uh, by this time you got idea what actually the machining time purpose uh, that you need to focus on. Whereas uh, lathe and lathe related operations are uh, Till now there is no question but especially in interview point of view very very important that's why we always try to cover those also. Whereas when it comes to the metrology very interesting subject uh, where chances of getting 2 to 3 mark will be there. Whereas uh, in the machining again uh, 2 to 3 marks. Whereas in a metal cutting again uh, 2 to four marks also you can say. Sometimes two mark two question they ask. Recently it happened. So together you observe it was around seven to eight marks you will get. Whereas in metrology many people focus on the limit fit tolerances and after that they lift this entire subject. They just focus on this. But the reality is the limit fit tolerance is the basics. Once you have that idea then Gauge designing is what very very important area where we talk about go no go gauges design as per the ISO standards. So these are very important area where you should have the clarity while aspiring while preparing the subject. And after this angle and taper taper measurement. In angle measurement we use a sign bar. Whereas in a taper angle measurement, standard precision balls are used. Even recent year question there, there was from this taper measurement. Right? We use a standard precision ball. Geometric they will provide from that geometry what is the angle, what is the taperness, what is the internal dimension, those things they used to ask from this. So whenever questions are asked from this area, it's a time consuming. Those who have a good practice, they only able to tackle these questions. And when you used to leave the screw thread measurement, but uh, observe there was a question from this screw thread measurement also very very important questions uh, are there especially pitch circle diameter and then best size wire related. And out of entire metrology connected topic with a metal cutting we have that is a surface finish. And these years uh, we are noticing frequently question from this particular surface finish. In this also what is maximum peak to valley height? And along that uh, central line average. So in your preparation if you mark all these areas uh, that is covering more than 70 percent of the questions. Whereas uh, along this uh, even jigs and fixtures. If you have a luck uh, in jigs and fixtures if question ask uh, very small area where if you even focus on the 3, 2, 1 principle sufficient this is only the syllabus also we can say. If you are getting question uh, sometime 2 mark or sometime even 1 mark question will be there. So if you are getting this question you are lucky enough. So this is what uh, the basic uh, strategy basic uh, idea I need to frame you by coming this particular live session. So tomorrow again I will come and I will take up one small topic, uh, any one of uh, these uh, and uh, you recommend which topic I should take. Uh, so based on your recommendation I will take that topic and then we will be having a discussion on that particular topic elaboratively. Okay? So that is what uh, from my side. So all the very best to everyone. Okay? Mayank, Anurag, Amit, Rahul, Afrid, Shobit. Rahman, Pradamesh, Akibalam, everyone, all the very best. Okay. So with this, uh, I'll stop this session. As I saw, as I said, uh, these are what the basic uh, things uh, which you need to focus, especially for the long-term preparation. 
and for the short term preparation uh, those who are now aspiring for the gate 2000 uh, 23 you should be focusing in these areas and then uh, revising those topics uh, especially what i mentioned and uh, try to spend every day 2 hours with the production side okay so that's it uh. thank you thank you very much uh. all the very best uh. and uh, try to uh, share this particular video and try to subscribe the channel uh. so ace academy is dedicatedly working uh, from the long 2000, uh, 1995 onwards uh, in the welfare of the students community right try to share this particular uh, uh, online platform related uh, ace online related information also those who are not able to uh, come for the offline classes uh, and even live online classes also there uh, so try to help to even to your students uh, even your juniors and uh, friends those who are unaware about uh, live online and uh, ace online app based content uh, and offline classes anyway will be there in our centers of the ACE Academy and try to contact the customer care. They will get ample information, especially for the coming year aspirants. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. My name is Gaurav Kumar. I have secured All India Rank 1 in Gate 22 in Electrical Engineering. I was enrolled in ACE Academy offline coaching. The ACE Academy really helped me develop a strong basic required for gate exam. I was also enrolled in ACE Academy online test series. The questions in ACE Academy online test series were very good and helped me develop a strong temperament required for the exam. My, my tips for the future aspirants who are preparing for gate exam will be that you should have a very clear plan and strategy like how you have to approach the exam and also believe in yourself and do hard work because if you have a very good plan and clear strategy and if you will work hard you will definitely achieve your goal. Thank you. My name is Gaurav Kumar. I have secured All India Rank 1 in Gate 22 in Electrical Engineering. I was enrolled in ACE Academy offline coaching. The ACE Academy really helped me develop a strong basic required for Gate exam. I was also enrolled in ACE Academy online test series. The questions in ACE Academy online test series were very good and helped me develop a strong temperament required for the exam. My, my tips for the future aspirants who are preparing for Gate exam will be that you should have a very clear plan and strategy like how you have to approach the exam and also believe in yourself and do hard work because if you have a very good plan and clear strategy and if you will work hard you will definitely achieve your goal thank you my name is Gaurav Kumar I have secured all India rank 1 in gate 22 in electrical engineering I was enrolled in ACE Academy offline coaching. The ACE Academy really helped me develop a strong basic required for gate exam. I was also enrolled in ACE Academy online test series. The questions in ACE Academy online test series were very good and helped me develop a strong temperament required for the exam. My, my tips for the future aspirants who are preparing for gate exam will be that you should have a very clear plan and strategy like how you have to approach the exam and also believe in yourself and do hard work because if you have a very good plan and clear strategy and if you will work hard you will definitely achieve your goal thank you